guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today, we're gonna finally get around to doing a proper comparison between two of the best guitars ever built, the Stratocaster versus the Les Pauls. Let's get started. So today's comparison is gonna be geared towards the person who is just sort of maybe doing some research and trying to decide which guitar would fit best with them. So we're gonna go through some of the features. Um, they're very different instruments. They have different pickups, so they sound very different. Uh, they have different features that we'll go through, and yeah, they feel very different to play on. So in addition to the American-made instruments, which we're gonna compare, we're also gonna throw in a Squire Stratocaster and an Epiphone Les Paul, just simply because I know not everybody can afford Amer an American-made instrument. I mean, when I was learning in high school, I could only dream about having an American American-made Les Paul or Stratocaster. Um, my first guitar, my dad traded some random dude four old tires for this used guitar. It was unbranded. The strings were like this high off the fingerboard. Just a total piece of crap. Um, but it ignited in me a passion for music. And so, you know, I can appreciate uh, all these lower end instruments. And some of them are, you know, really well made. <laughs> Now, the Stratocaster was designed by Leo Fender in 1954 and has been produced continuously every year since then. So there's so many Strats out there. Um, guys like uh, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, David Gilmour, Eric Clapton, uh, Buddy Guy, so many guys. Uh, you, you know, you can't list them all. So many people play uh, the Strat. So if you're into sort of like low gain blues, um, a classic rock kind of stuff, this could be a perfect fit for you. It's a really pragmatic design, so it's very simple. It's a bolt-on neck. Um, all, most of them are alder bodies, really easy to uh, shape, easy on machinery, um, you know, originally done by hand, uh, made it really easy to produce. Um, it's got a trim where the Les Paul doesn't, so you can uh, change the pitch with your whammy bar. So if you are the kind of player that likes to use that, Strat's the way to go. And in terms of feel, it's extremely well balanced. It feels great to play on. Um, yeah, light and really ergonomic. Now the Gibson Les Paul was designed in 1952 by Ted McCarty. Um, originally it had P90 pickups and the gold top. Um, in 1957 they introduced the humbucking pickups, which we know and love today. Um, which is why on lots of traditionals, they come with 57 classic pickups. It's kind of a throwback or a nod to when the Les Paul first got its humbuckers. Now the construction of a Les Paul is very different than a Stratocaster. So it's got a fixed tailpiece here and a two pneumatic bridge. Um, yeah, so no changing the pitch via a whammy bar on a Les Paul. Um, it's got humbucking pickups, which of course we love. They're very quiet, so you can use this guitar with much higher gain um, than, a, than a traditional Stratocaster. It's got a glued in neck here, so not as easy to just swap out uh, your neck if you are having problems. Um, so it needs to be treated with, uh, with care and attention for sure. Um, no tummy cut on the back, it weighs more, uh, no shaved portion of the upper body for your strumming hand. So not quite as ergonomic as a Strat. Um, but yeah, if you love bands like uh, Joe Bonamassa, of course Led Zeppelin, um, Guns N' Roses, and a ton of other players. Um, this guitar can cover jazz, it can cover blues, it can cover uh, high gain metal, really versatile instrument. So let's take a listen to these guitars in action. We're gonna do a few riffs for you guys, and then we're gonna do some soloing. Enjoy.
So I hope hearing these guitars played back to back was helpful for you guys. I know when you're picking a new instrument, it can be stressful and you wanna get the one that's right for you. So hopefully uh, looking at the features and hearing these guitars will help you guys in your decision. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, you can subscribe to the channel by clicking right here. Uh, I've got a tab store with like lesson plans and worksheets for guitarists you can find right here. And if you feel like watching a few more videos, here's a couple. We'll see you guys next week. Take care.